Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a little bit of a different video, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I store and organize all my crochet patterns. So as you can probably tell by this video's thumbnail, I like to just store my patterns in just a binder. I find it to be very practical and easy to use. So let's go ahead and open it up and I will show you guys how I organize everything. Okay, so here's how I've organized all my crochet patterns. So I actually split up all my patterns into four different categories. And so my categories are whips, home decor, clothing, and accessories, which is hidden, but it is here. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so within each category, I also made different sections. So for instance, for home decor, I have a blanket section as well as a pillow section. Since I have a lot of these patterns, I thought it would be easier if I just split them up. And if I were to look for one, I could just pull that section out and then look for my pattern. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna walk you through on how I have it organized. So my first category is whip. So my current work in progress. So in this category, I put anything that I'm currently working on, or um, I might put another designer's pattern in that I'm working on. And so, yeah, so this is the pattern that I just released last week. So I actually have to move this to my accessory section. And what I wanted to point out about this specific binder is that it actually has a clipboard in the front. And so whenever I'm working on a pattern, I actually just clip it to here. So this just makes it nice and easy when you're trying to read your pattern. All right, so that's my whips category. Uh, my second one is home decor. Now home decor is where I've created sections. So I actually took a binder paper sheet and I added a tab to it and I've written down blankets. Oops, you can't see it over here, here we go. So I took an extra piece of paper and I put a tab on there where it says blankets. And so I put all my blanket patterns in. Now for this video, I did take some out um, just because this binder would look really big. <laughs> and so here's another section, so pillows. So you can find all my pillow patterns. Um, and then my third category is clothing. And so um, I've created sections within this category as well. So um, I have shrugs and a, and a cardigan uh, tab right here. And so this is my shrug pattern and I've included all kinds in here. And then I also have a top section in here um, and so on. And so, yeah. And then uh, my last category is accessories. And so I've included sections within this one as well. So the first one is scarves. And so here's a scarf pattern of mine. And then I just include all kinds of uh, accessory type patterns in here. Also some miscellaneous things. So I have beanies, scarves, uh, laptop cover, anything that I think is an accessory I include in this section. So yeah, that's kind of the basis of how I organize all my crochet patterns. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different than my usual ones, but I thought it might be fun to see how somebody else stores and organizes their patterns. So I would love to know how you guys do it as well. So whether you prefer to do it online or you like to use a binder like me, definitely let me know in the comment section. I've also written a post about this, so if you want to read about it in a little bit more detail, I will make sure to leave that link in the description box below. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye.